Here, hold this one. You can hold it. Thank you. And you can hold the screen. And this is the camera, you can see yourself. Whatever it's pointed to. Yeah. Be careful. Hi. Yeah, it's happening. It's very good. Yeah, it's a must. You can't go around the park without, yeah. Did I give it to you yet? No. You hold this. And you hold this. Um, you can turn, you see the camera is on the other side, turn it around. Yeah. Takes. Hi, my name is Nimrod and I am ROD. And I'm a journalist and I cannot do journalism without using a drone because it's irrelevant. It's on Wikipedia, drone journalism. I did not write this Wikipedia page. Someone else wrote it, and, but I put my name on it. It means doing journalism with a drone. Can you put the propellers on so we, saw, we can hear the noise of the propellers? This is the sound of progress, the sound of... Okay, got it. It can fly really high. How much exactly? How high exactly? Around a kilometer. Kil kilometer up. And you don't want the propellers to touch your face. My friend Tom has some injuries. And every time we need to buy new propellers in eBay. On eBay? All right. You can buy a, a, like a deal for like 100 propellers in like Deal Extreme to replace them all the time. And the thing about drone journalism is like, if you're a journalist and you want to like spy on the boss of the HSBC bank and he's corrupt, so you fly the drone at his window and you can look at documents. And if it's in the public interest, so you can argue with the judge that you have a right to fly it in the window. Or if you want to see like an, a Russian oligarch's estate in Ascot, so you just fly the drone above the estate. And there's some legal issues, you can ask me later, we can talk about the legal issues. If it's in the public interest, anything you do, let's watch some drone journalism. Maybe this one, yeah, the, front, the second one, yeah. So someone, a building collapsed in Harlem and some journalists flew the drone because the police did not let them film above the building. This is the drone in Harlem, the building that collapsed. We're gonna watch the footage, yeah. Everybody's using this model. It's full of smoke. Imagine 9-11. That's it. This is drone journalism. Yeah. It's more exciting to see it lift off than even to see the footage. Sometimes. Um, let's maybe, should we watch this one? Um, yeah. So let's watch some things we did in the Bahamas. This is me and my friend Alex in London. The sound on. Oh, yeah. Um, this is Regent's Park. And we did this before flying to the Bahamas just to show the difference how London looks, how the Bahamas look like. Something called the drone selfie, hashtag droney, D-R-O-N-I-E. If you fly a drone about, like, from you to the sky. This is the bah Bahamian parliament. It was a story on how the NSA are recording all the phone calls in the Bahamas. So the drone was there to... It's a protest. This is a drone selfie, although it's better if you touch it and then it goes away. Like you touch the phone. The NSA 
somebody with this small island for some reason to record all the phone calls and found everyone in it. Not sure why. People here are victims for mass of mass of events. We can investigate and find out why. The Hilton Bahamas. I didn't stay in the Hilton, I just went to a swimming pool for the drone selfie. And I'm the first journalist who did a piece to camera to a drone. It's happening. I don't want anyone to just know. Like it's happening. I'm selling drugs in the Bahamas. My dear. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually flying it. It's a fake remote because only Tom knows how to fly the drone. <laughs> He's standing next to me. This is the Paradise Hotel or Paradise Island. Drone music. Do do do. Yeah. A drone can go underwater as well, we'll show you later. Hi Gemma, come sit here. You see? It's happening. This is like the NSA program that records all the phone calls. It's good for exercise, you can jump to try to catch your drone. This is coconut water and a machete while being droned. Droning in Soho. With, yeah. And if you are a drone journalist, you're a dronalist. Dronalism. If, if you love your drone, it's dromance. Intense. This is the Bahamian island, Nassau. And you can't stop touching the propellers until they move, then you don't want to touch them. Intense. Yeah. Okay. Um, drone journalism. Other things you can do with a drone. Suppose you don't have a Netflix account and your neighbor has a Netflix account. You fly the drone at the window and you can watch the footage of Netflix, but you cannot listen to it because you can hear only the propellers. The way you can, you could listen to me in those shots because I had the different, like a radio mic on me and a different camera. Nice one. Other things you can do, you can attach your dog to the drone, but have the leash not really tight. And then the drone flies and the dog can run before or after the drone. And if it runs too fast, the leash needs to be unleashed. So the drone doesn't collapse with the dog. If, you, if there is a party, um, next to your house and you don't want to go and you live near a park so you can fly the drone with your foot image laminated, hanged from a drone and then be in the party. Because you don't like these people anyway. <laughs> Brilliant. Another thing you can do, let's watch, what's the love box, love box one? Oh, which, which one is this? Oh yeah. What, what the, Benny? Oh Chris. Actually, let's watch the, the Love Box. Okay. So the Love Box Festival in Victoria Park, and I did not want to pay for a ticket, so I flew the drone to watch the, the gigs. And I could not listen to the gigs, because you can only hear the propellers, basically. But who wants to listen anyway? It's lo like, yeah. So let's see what happened there. We, we did the whole segment of talking. You could not hear, hear me there, because I'm speaking to a girl. Which file was that? The, um, oh, is this? Basically, I, uh, you can't listen to me now, but it's, it's hearable. This is. It's not in the beginning, no? Oh, yeah. The volume, yeah. This is Victoria Park. You all live there. And I find that listening to the propellers is better than music. Because if you put music on the footage, it looks fake. Maybe put the volume up a bit. It's a big mosquito. And there is the tension that it might fall one day. So you fly it really slowly. Should we skip a bit? You see, nobody even goes to Love Box. It's almost empty. <laughs> like, what's the point? <laughs> the 
stage is empty as always. <laughs> and I read the Financial Times in the park and I even ignored what the drone is like. And then, then it, there's a special, if you lose the drone, there's a special button that sends it back to you. So we clicked the button because we had enough. And then it started flying back. Can you put the volume up? A bit, a bit higher. see the fish <laughs> and that's it that's how it ended <laughs> but still I have it in my hand somehow because Tom jumped in the pond and got it <laughs> and we had to replace batteries the whole same thing one? Huh? Same, one? same one we had to replace what did we replace exactly uh, battery got, yeah, electrocuted, I think. yeah fish got electrified in the pond it was a massive turn off Ooh. We'll show you, so drone is like, it's like a messy affair. Like if you fly it above an estate or you want to spy on someone, like a rich dude or whatever, then it crashes. The main thing is you can't get the footage back. You can see what the drone is seeing on the screen. You still have the screen? Yeah. Right. Pass it between you. This is the Bahamas. So you always want to salvage the footage because it's on the camera. And like, you also the screen, you can like, take a, you can take a video of the screen, but it's not as good as the footage. So if you're doing something really illegal, you can just bet that you're just going to lose the drone and keep the footage. Um, we're going to see, watch Benny's crash. Sure. There's someone called Benny here, and he just crashed his drone. If you don't crash your drone, you haven't done anything. It's a must. <laughs> yeah. Well, so why do you crash them? Why do you crash them? I mean, we don't intend to crash them, but it's, uh, it says something about your personality if you don't care about the drone being like in 1% battery and you just go on. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I, I never intended, intended for it to, be, to, to fall in the pond. It lost, it lost control. Maybe the police or someone interfered with our frequency. So, yeah. This is another crash that happened to my friend Benny here, same drone model. You can you can you can listen to the horror. This is the sound of like accident. Yeah, I know it's dangerous. I'm I'm not recommending you you crash it. I'm just saying it happens. Benny. No one. Benny did it here. No one died. Just saying. Yeah. 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 Um, it, it is dangerous, I would say that. Really and you don't want it to crash. But if you do, don't get like alarmed. Like just go and get it. If it's stuck on the tree, well, climb up. <laughs> yeah. You know, you hit a child. Yeah. You get it there? Yeah, I know. Someone I mean, is going to fly one into a helicopter sooner or later. Yeah. There aren't that many. No one's really There's loads of issues. Yeah, people have flown drone above airports and they got in trouble. You should always do it in like safe places and like think if it's in the public interest if you're spying on someone. What, what is the legal? Basically, if you fly it above yourself and not above a fence, it's more legal. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you pass a fence, there's an issue. But then if it's like in the US, it's more tricky. In the UK, the law is much less strict. If you can find, you can Google like unmanned aircraft for personal use on the UK like government site and it does say you can fly it with your mates if they're honest mates <laughs> and you can like fly it where nobody cares like should we show the Chelsea one or I did a story on the evening standard about taking a drone selfie drone in Chelsea um, sometimes you can get stuff you didn't intend to, to see like if you fly it at windows um, We'll show you soon the Netflix bit. Oh, we saw the Harriet scene. Okay. Yeah, I know. Not yet. Not yet. You, if you are lonely and you go to the park, what? 
you can send the drone with like a message attached to someone you fancy at the other side. And the wind can even not, it's gonna be hard for the lady or the boy to catch the note because of the wind from the propellers. So it will not work. But you can try to like find someone in the park. Have been responsible for the deaths of hundreds of unarmed civilians in the war against terror. A bit higher, the volume? Despite their success, drones now pop in the back of home, with companies like Amazon testing their use for deliveries. Nimrod has bought a drone and attached to a drone camera to open new doors in his life. My Netflix subscription is over. I cannot afford a new one. But I have to watch the last episode of Orange is the New Black. There's only one way to do that. I, I didn't choose the music. Cut the music, forget about it. Yeah. Not using this music. Yeah. <laughs> Nimrod is looking for ways you can utilize it. Cringe. Every time I approach a girl in the park, she would call the community police on my ass. The drone is my only way to like get some. <laughs> She's right here, Harriet. <laughs> Cut. Yeah, that's the vibe. Um, if you want to interrupt with questions, um, it, co it costs around 1.3K online, you have to go pick it up. And uh, Tom, my colleague, assembled it himself. Like, you touch something called the gimbal, so it's steady. And then you hope for the best. It, it, it looks like it crashes all the time, but it, it only crashed once for us. Um, other cool journ drone journalistic stuff you can do. Yeah, attach things to it. Pizza, uh, books. You can just, yeah. Any questions? <laughs> yeah. Hi. How long would the battery be? You would, you know that? Mm. 15 minutes each, if I'm not mistaken? That's right. 15 minutes each, and you, we only have two batteries. But who wants to fly too much anyway? I mean, the footage is like boring usually. How fast does it go? So how fast does it go? Like yeah, if you fly? It goes pretty fast. And then we could chase um, even cars. Like it's, it's going pretty really fast. But it, it quickly gets out of the wreck, so you don't really want to. How fast yeah. would you go in 15 minutes? Yeah, I, I have a friend who built a bigger setup, and he the drone sort of accelerated in the direction opposite to him and he lost the control of it and he kept looking for it for two days in the bushes, he never found it. So it can get pretty far, yeah. It's all about the bushes. Find one like that. Yeah. <laughs> you can look at the bushes, you'll find one. Can you put a uh, Google drone wedding? So, you you on YouTube, there's a drone wedding uh, incident. Many people hire me now to film weddings because the, the perfect bride and the perfect wedding, they want the perfect drone shot. So no one will ever watch it probably, but they'll do it. <laughs> and I'm selling my services. Um, so we're just coming to the wedding, sitting for two hours, doing the drone shot, then we're going home. And, and it, it's, we're gonna show now a, a famous YouTube of like an accident that happened in someone else's wedding. <laughs> uh, drone, yeah, do, go, do maybe, here, um, yeah, yeah, this one, this one, yeah. 
Could we listen? I've never seen that. It's happening. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, watch it again. What they try to do is a romantic shot. It's not my drone. Not my drone. They t they t watch it again. They try to do a romantic shot where the drone goes through this like wooden arch. That's why, you see, they wanted the romantic shot goes through the arch and flying high. They had the best intentions. Oh. Cut it, cut it, can't even look. Um, yeah. Maybe show the, the, no, the Google one, the delivery. Made it a memorable occasion. Memorable occasion, yeah. Any other questions before the next? What? What uh, do you think? Uh, we usually tend to shoot 25 frames per second, but 50 frames per second. Yeah, right? You can shoot 50 frames per second. Google. Well, but it looks sharper and more video-like, where we try to get a bit you know, of this film effect on it as well. So yeah. So you can mm. shoot up to 120 frames per second with 17 no, feet. No, but I, I just want what you personally do. Right. I just think that Hi. I got some wine there. Hi. You can, you can see them as well. Henry, Henry, okay, I'll, I'll bring it to you. I'll bring it later. Can you find the Google? Did we shoot the delivery in Australia? Um, I'm not sure, the Telegraph one, on the Telegraph website. Google are developing like a new drone delivery system. Amazon, Amazon released this video when you see a drone landing in your yard and then you would expect people to hijack the drone or like try to catch it with a fishnet if, if, if it delivers packages to you with Amazon. Thing. So Google have developed this new drone for delivery that doesn't land in Australia. Is that it? It's a telegraph video, so it's... This is the new drone. Don't listen to him. Project Wing aspires it's a to take another big chunk of the remaining friction out of moving. Chunk. It's not even a spoof. It's not